Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Last time, a lot happened. We finished the Halloween Town, which was the last of the five first worlds, and fought Larxene, who's a piece of work. Anyhow, this time, we finally remembered Naminé's name, and now we've got four new worlds that we can go to. Let's see what those are all about. So we have Atlantica! Neverland, Hollow Bastion, and the 100 Acre Wood. So here's the deal Atlantica, Neverland, and Hollow Bastion, they're all normal worlds. 100 Acre Wood is not a normal world. If you go here, there are no Heartless, so no leveling up, but you get a lot of good stuff there. And doing the 100 Acre Wood does not cause the others to scale upwards in difficulty. Meaning, if we do Atlantica first, and then 100 Acre Wood, or 100 Acre Wood first, then Atlantica, Atlantica is going to be the same size regardless. So, there's really no reason why you shouldn't do 100 Acre Wood first, because you just get a lot of free stuff there. So, I think that's where we're going to go today. And also, at this point in the game, now that we've reached this floor and have the next few worlds, we can get key of the key to rewards from random enemy encounters. But that's not going to affect this world. We're going to 100 Acre Wood. This is a fabulous world, kind of. What's wrong, little fella? I'm looking for my friends. Are they around here? It looks like nobody's here. So I guess I'm looking for nobody. Hmm? You're looking for nobody? Yes, I keep looking, but I'm getting nowhere. All this searching is making me hungry. I wonder if there's a bit of honey around here. But if I start eating, I'll have to stop searching. Why don't we look for your friends together? You mean look for nobody? No, for your friends! They might be around here. Let's find them together. Are you looking for my friends too? No, but I'm looking for some friends of my own. Are they Pooh's friends? Because if not, I don't care. <laughs> now, just a minute. I'm Pooh, not you. That's right. I'm Sora. My friends are different from your friends. But I know what it's like to miss your friends. So why don't we look for them together? That sounds perfect. Maybe we'll find some honey along the way. Help Pooh find his friends as you lead him to the finish line. Our button is call Pooh. The honey displayed at the top right of the screen is the source of Pooh's energy. Of course, Pooh will doze off for a while if he runs out of honey. Welcome to the 100 Acre Wood. I actually like this world, even though most people probably hate it. Come on, Pooh. This way. So Pooh, he's slow, and he follows you around, but and he also gets distracted by everything. Oh, it's Rabbit! The most sympathetic character in the world! Hi, Rabbit! Um, can I talk to you? Carrots, cabbages, onions, all my vegetables must be sorted just so. Rabbit, I sympathize with so much. He's basically just a guy who likes being on his own and likes seeing the benefits of good hard work. He likes his garden, but people keep destroying it and have no concept for his own, like, property. It's terrible. So Pooh just stopped and had to eat some honey. Now here's the thing, this is not going to make sense, there's this wheelbarrow here. We need to jump inside it and have Pooh climb inside it. And it breaks. Oh well, better get out before Rabbit finds out. <laughs> so that doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense, but trust me, you need to do it. Oh, it's Piglet! Hey Piglet! There he is. Oh! Oh no, oh no, oh no, uh, I'm nobody. You, you needn't pay me any mind. You're not Pooh's friend? N n no Um, oh no, I mean, I'm not not Pooh's friend. I'm, I'm... I can't do a good piglet voice, I'm sorry. Why, hello there, piglet. Oh, it's you, Pooh. I'm so relieved. I finally found someone. Actually, I just realized pretty much all the characters on 100 Acre Wood are incredibly sympathetic. I really sympathize with Pigwood as well. I got separated from the others. I was so worried I didn't know what to do. He basically is anxiety personified. That explains why you were so fidgety. 
Quick, Lich, why don't you come with us to look for the rest of our friends? What? Oh my, I don't know. Hmm, what should I do? Guess he doesn't want to come. Let's go, Pooh. Oh, wait! Did you make up your mind? Well, no, I'm still thinking, but I found something strange in the bushes. I wouldn't know what to do with it. You can have it. We learned Confuse! That's a new slate. That's pretty nice. Hey, Pooh. Pooh gets distracted by everything. Butterflies, balloons, butterflies with balloons. So if you don't want him to be distracted, just keep calling him over. Ooh, oh, hang on. So the owl's over there. There's a huge group of balloons here. So if Pooh ends up... No, Pooh, no, Pooh. Over this way. He's like, oh, bother. What should I do? I think I'll fall into this hole. Well, Sora doesn't really want me to. Oh, but that hole... Okay, there we go. yoo -hoo! Thank you, Owl. Are you alright, Pooh? I had a wonderful time, Owl. I could do that all day. Maybe you should use a balloon to look for your friends. You might think so, young man, but the problems start when you find them. Once you find your friends, how do you get down to them? A balloon goes where the wind blows. You've no control over where you go. What if you saw your friends, but the wind kept them just out of reach? I think I'd rather keep looking for my friends than find them and not be able to reach them. You've got a point. If you want to find someone, you'd best do it on foot. It could be quite exciting to stumble across a friend where you least expect them. Well, that's certainly how I feel when I stumble across some honey. That's the spirit, Pooh. The trick is to keep moving and keep looking. All right, Owl, that's what I'll do. I can't wait to find that honey. Don't worry, I'll help Pooh find his friends. Splendid! Here's something to speed you on your way. Obtained Spellbinder. That's the Keyblade of the Hundred Acre Wood. So that's actually pretty interesting. Owl just gave us a weapon. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, if Pooh falls in one of these pits, then he will basically fall down and then use balloons to get out. And his honey meter's running just the tiniest bit low, so let's let him eat. So you can also see there are these footprints that are leading into this hole. That's where we want Pooh to go next. We actually want him to fall in this hole. Because who knows who could be inside? It's Rue! I was expecting the Baxen. Well, if it isn't you, Rue, what were you doing in that hole? I was so busy looking for Tigger, I fell right in! Then why didn't you jump right out again? I was waiting for Tigger to come along! Then when Tigger fell in the hole, why, I, there I'd be! He'd be so surprised! Doesn't it sound fun? But what if he doesn't fall in? I think Tigger would bounce right over the hole. To tell the truth, I was getting a little lonely and tired of waiting for him to fall in. Instead of waiting, why don't you see if you can find him? You're right! That's a great idea! By the way, I found this in the hole. Why don't you take it? We obtained an elixir. Who dropped an elixir in the hole? Okay, elixirs are really good items. They basically you use it, and it gives you all of your attack, magic, and summon cards back, even if you lost them in slates. It's quite useful, actually, but it's also incredibly expensive to equip. Ooh, look at all these Moogle points. Pooh's like, oh, bother. What the heck are Moogle points? Come on, Pooh. No time to sit down. All right. I should not have been going ahead to get all these Moogle points. Pooh! Oh, I'm so tired. Pooh at his heart is essentially a college student. He loves to sleep and he loves to eat. And here's Tigger, T I double G R. Oh, Pooh, there's some honey there if you want. 
<laughs> Tigger's causing the game to lag. Who's like, oh, honey? I wonder if I can talk to Tigger, actually. No, you can't talk to Tigger. He's too busy bouncing. Come on, Poop. Come on. He's stuck on the sign, are you serious? Pooh's like, I don't really want to go this way, but okay. No, Pooh, Pooh. Pooh will take two steps and then get distracted. No, Pooh. No, Pooh. You can grab those balloons. I'm okay with you grabbing those balloons. Because that'll always take you forward. It's Eeyore, another sympathetic character. I can't do without my tail. His tail's stuck in the tree, what are we gonna do about that? Well, Pooh first has to eat more honey, because heaven forbid he lose one bar of his honey meter. If memory serves, the honey also might regrow. I'm not entirely sure, though. Oh, there are bees over here. And where there are bees, there is honey. There's a stick on the ground. <laughs> oh, bother! Well, that works. Oh, my poor head. Well, much obliged, Pooh. Much obliged to you too, Eeyore, but what for? For running into that tree and getting my tail back for me. Why, I was just trying to get away from those honeybees! All I wanted was a tiny taste of honey, because I haven't had enough yet. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, you helped me anyhow. I thought there was honey in that tree too. I never guessed we'd find your tail. Oh, just an accident, of course. No one would help me on purpose, but I'm still obliged. Thank you, Pooh and Sora. He's so nice. Even when he thinks we didn't help him on purpose, he's still very grateful. That's great. You're welcome, Eeyore. Here's something for you. Hey, it's okay, Eeyore. It was just an accident. I know, but this fell down along with my tail. It's my accidental thank you. We learned bind. Another slate. <laughs> Eeyore's like, when my tail fell down, I suddenly remembered how to use this slate. Hey, these stumps look familiar. Ticker was hopping around these in a counterclockwise order. And here's Roo. Hey, Roo. It's no use just jumping. Gotta do it right. So Ticker was jumping on these counterclockwise. So what we want to do is have Pooh jump. Hey, Pooh, over here. Now over here, Pooh. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 Pooh, don't jump off, don't jump off, don't Pooh. It's Tigger! So you feel like some bouncer with Tigger, eh? <laughs> Did you see me jump? Sora showed me how. You got the idea, kiddo, but you're still not doing it right. Man, this is terrible. What do you mean? Just imitating Tigger's no good, no matter how much you like my bouncing. You gotta try all kinds of bouncing. Make up your own style. I'm Tigger and you're not. That's why it's fun. We wanted you to notice. That's why Pooh is imitating you. Now I see. If you want to see Tigger bounce, just say the word. Here I go. Tigger's a voice I really can't do. How am I doing? <laughs> Nobody bounces better. But don't just do what I do. You gotta bounce your own way if you want to be a bouncer like Tigger. <laughs> Words of advice, Tigger. Why, look, Sora. Tigger dropped something. 
We learned Idle Romp. That's another slate. We're almost out of the woods now, which is <laughs> appropriate for this world. Oh, Poo, your honey meter was running. Oh, no, Poo. No, Poo. Yeah, yeah, okay, Poo. You are all right to eat that honey because your meter is running a little bit low. Come on, Poo. So yeah, we've already gotten an elixir and learned like three different slates. So pretty good world. Oh, what's this? Yeah, cabbages! That's peculiar. What's what's going on with the cabbages? Oh, oops, you, uh. these are hard to hit. They have dunk on it. Pooh's like, um, I don't really understand what's happening here. That one cabbage just vaporized into the trees. So basically, we gotta hit these cabbages, and it'll create this nice little stack. Oh, oh, cabbage. How many cabbages are there? Good gravy. There we go. That was close. Are you okay, Pooh? Yes, I seem to be. Where did all those cabbages come from? Yoo-hoo! Hello, rabbit. What's all the fuss? Did you see my cabbages come rolling past? You mean those cabbages? My goodness! There they are! All nicely stacked! How kind of you! Carrying them is so troublesome, I thought I'd try rolling them. But it didn't work very well. So that's why those cabbages came chasing after us. It gave us quite a turn. We almost got bowled over, you know. I'm very sorry. I was going to carry them in my cart, but someone broke it! <laughs> it's quite annoying. I wonder who it was. Well, Rabbit, Sora and I... Whoa, whoa, um, Pooh, we better get going. We're in a hurry, right? Yes, I suppose you're right. Goodbye, Rabbit. Just a moment. I must repay you for stacking my cabbages. Thank you very much. I don't know how I would have managed without you. <laughs> Maybe you would have managed better without us. <laughs> now, what do you mean by that? N nothing <laughs> Learned Synchro. That's another slate. Oh, bother. I am so very hungry. Yeah, that's the end of the Hundred Acre Wood, I believe. Oh no. Can I not press start? Oh no. No poo. No poo. Don't climb up there. No poo! Just get over here! No, no, no. <laughs> Pooh's like, oh, bother. What should I do? You should follow me. We're Pooh. We are literally right next to the exit. I guess we can't go any farther. So what do you think, Pooh? Wasn't it more fun looking for friends together? Yes, you were right, Sora. I'd like you to have this with my thanks. Whew, I've walked so far, I think I need a little rest. If only I had a nice pot of honey to keep me company. Well, I'd better be going. Where are you going? I've got to keep looking for my friends. Then I'd better help you look for them, too. That's okay, Pooh. You should stay here in the Hundred Acre Wood. You mean, this is goodbye? No way! I'll always know where to find you. If I don't forget. Don't worry, Sora. You can count on me. Even if you forget Pooh, I won't forget you. Thanks, Pooh. 
and we obtained Bambi. Bambi! Okay, so you remember in the first Kingdom Hearts game where Bambi was like the most hilariously broken spell in the game? Bambi sucks in this. Big time. Save your game? Not yet. You! You're... Riku? What are you doing here? Don't sound so happy to see me, Sora. Let me know if I'm getting in the way of something more important. No, of course not. I only meant... Spare me. I bet you'd all but forgotten about me. Are you crazy? I came all this way because I was looking for you! But not anymore, right? Now it's nominate this, nominate that. You don't care about me any more than you care about how nominate feels. What's that supposed to mean? Never even gave it a thought, did you? Just because you want to see nominate doesn't mean it goes both ways. Very funny. Who's joking? Nominate doesn't even want to look at you. Why not? Ask your memories if you bothered to remember why Nominate left the islands. Why? Did I do something? Is it my fault? Riku. Go home, Sora. I can take care of Nominate. Anyone who goes near her... Goes through me. What's your problem? We finally find each other and you do this? Since when have you cared about me? Nominate's not the only one who's sick of you. Riku, no! We get to fight Riku! And unfortunately I have my lamer deck that's meant for enemies. <laughs> so Riku this first time isn't too bad. He's aggressive with his attacks, but he's right now still not very after- Oh! <laughs> oh, okay, that was pretty good. Nice! Alright, so once I raid him a bunch- oh, hi. That wasn't even a high enough value to raid to go through a 9 card, that's amazing. He's got some pretty high valued attack cards, but he's not too hard. Look, we've already got one of his bars of HP down. Yeah, this is the part of the game where it's like, oh, you, you didn't watch Kingdom Hearts 1? Or you haven't played Kingdom Hearts 1? Yeah, you're pretty lost now. Come on! <laughs> That's really annoying. Sonic Blade! That dealt a hefty amount of damage. Donald! Nice! <laughs> well, that was easy. I didn't even need my special one. Ooh, I got a pearl. Pearls are worth a ton of experience. And we learn arrow. And we get a level up. Let's level up. CP! CP increased by 25. Riku, come on! Wait! Gorsh, what could have happened to make Riku talk like that? We'd better go after Riku! Well, Riku's certainly uh, in an interesting place. Riku, where are you? Sora, are you okay? Forget about me. What's happened to Riku? He sure was acting strange. It's almost as if the Heartless were controlling him again. No way. Ansem got to him once, but Ansem's history. We saw to that. I wonder what's wrong with him then. Hold on, isn't the cane supposed to be with Riku? If something's happened to Riku, then the cane might be in danger. We gotta help him. Yeah. Sure. Hey, Riku is still your friend, and that's no mistake. You sure? 
I know we said some awful things to you back there, but don't forget, we're all in Castle Oblivion. People lose their memory here a little bit at a time. Riku's probably forgotten that he and you were friends, that's all. So it's not that he doesn't like me? He just forgot? That'd be my guess. So instead of being sad, let's figure out a way to make Riku remember. It's not like you to mope. Let's work together and get through this. Jiminy's right. Don't push your friends away. Yeah, okay. No, no, no! That's not what the Keyblade Master should sound like! Huh? Okay, how's this then? I'll save nominate Riku and the king, and I'll do it blindfolded. That's it. That's the spirit. Heartless, ha! Forces of evil, do your worst. Good, good. Now you're sounding heroic. Boy, he sure knows how to get carried away. Yep, that's our Sora. Well, whoopee. Let's take a look at some of the slates we learned today. Uh, status. Oh yeah, Zanta Suksin, that one was terrible. Thunder on Fundaga, we learned. Aurora, Aurora and Aroga. So Arrow works differently. In the first game, Arrow basically blew uh, wind around you and made like you have higher defense. In this, it blows wind around you and basically just damages nearby Heartless and knocks them away. It's not as good. Bind. Hold enemies in place. Enemies can still attack from their positions. Gravity stop in any magic card. That doesn't sound very good. Confuse. Temporary confuse enemies so they attack less often. Genie, Tinkerbell, and any summon card. That's weird. Synchro. Get surrounding enemies' HP to that of the tart. That could be interesting. Cure, Gravity, and Arrow. Gifted Miracle. Proud Roar. Splash Paradise. Idle Romp. Bambi zigzags around the battlefield, confusing the enemy. Bambi and followed by any two attack cards. Showtime, cross slash, on the slash, magic, goofy charge, blah blah blah, surprise. Oh, paradise. So basically in this, okay, so in the first game, Bambi essentially dropped like an obscene amount of magic orbs so you could just spam Fundaga like crazy. In this, he just drops a few tiny HP orbs. Terrible. Anyhow, that's 100 Acre Wood, and we only have three worlds left out of this bunch, so thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We're, we're going to Hollow Bastion. Yeah, we're going to Hollow Bastion, and that's a really, really good world. So, hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.